when's the best time to put your house on the market? When's the best time to sell it? I get asked that question all the time. I mean, all the time. People wanna know magic date. And I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna give you three things to really consider what's important about timing for selling your house. That's what I'm talking about today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I'm waiting to walk in to meet a client. I am a little early, so I'm at this pretty park. And uh, one of the questions this seller asked me is when's the best time to sell the house, Annie? You know, we don't really have to sell right now, but we want to start getting ready. We want to be prepared. If we start doing things now, it's what? Gosh, August of 2021. Maybe should we do it all the work? We can enjoy it for a little bit and then sell in the spring. We always hear spring is such a great time. So I figured it was a time to do a video and explain to you when is the best time to sell a house. Should you be thinking, let's get the house ready so we can wait till the spring to sell? Well, I'm gonna say no. I don't always think that's the best thing to do. I'm gonna kind of assume that you don't have to move right away, that you can sort of just take your time and, and do this right. So my number one thing I tell people about the best time to sell a house is when your house looks the best to sell, which means let's get some work done on that house. Unless you just did a huge renovation in the last two years of your house, hopefully you had a designer help pick colors, pick paint, pick flooring, pick countertops. I have a feeling your house could use a little facelift. And so that's my job. I can come in, I have a designer pick colors, flooring, countertops. We are always on top of what's trending. And I have two crews that can come in and do work for you and get it done. This is what I do. I have two crews for a reason because I help my sellers fix up properties all the time. The pricing is better and I do help pay a lot of times. I don't want sellers to leave money on the table because funds are tight. Maybe they do have to move even out of the area, out of state, and it's gonna be costly so they don't have a lot of disposable income. So I will get paid at the closing and cover these costs because I want you to get all the money you can. You're sitting on your golden goose egg here. So let's fix up, I mean, especially flooring, paint, changing out some light fixtures, changing out some cabinets, even sometimes just painting cabinets. It makes a huge difference. And I don't care if it's a buyer's market, a slow market, a downturn market. If your house shows well here in the Bay Area, you are going to get top dollar for that house whatever that means that time in the market. So fix it up, do the work, you'll thank me later. Number two, is it a seller's market? Well, in the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, Santa Clara County, uh, it's been a seller's market for the last few years, pretty much, for the most part. There is not enough inventory for the demand, that's why you always hear about, oh, there's multiple offers, and you just put a for sale sign up and the house sells. Well, that's not totally true because I've had houses that I've seen that they didn't do the work, they didn't fix it up. Even though there's a demand, it kind of sits there for three, four weeks, and that's not good, not here, not in this area. Houses need to get in, in contract within 15 days or buyers don't like it here. And typically that's not a problem. Most houses do sell that quickly because the demand is high. But do the work to get the highest price no matter what's going on. But when it's a seller's market, you are gonna just kill prices. I mean, here we are, August 2021. Sometimes in the past people would say late summer is kind of not a great time to sell. We are still breaking records in neighborhoods, pushing prices. So it's definitely a seller's market. The demand is still high. So get your house fixed up and let's push your price up to get you top dollar. Number three, what's the inventory? What are the choices for buyers in your immediate neighborhood? So when you take into consideration the competition for you, I'm not talking about five miles down the road, but in your same school district, in your same neighborhood, what's going on? Put yourself in the buyer's shoes. If you're a buyer and you want in that area, that neighborhood, and there's five other houses all about the same, same size, well, they have more choices. So what I'll do when I know a listing is coming, I'll be calling the other realtors in that area with active listings or houses that went in contract and I'll be asking, hey, was there a lot of interest? Did you have multiple offers? What was going on? The more info I can 
gather, I'll have a better idea how that will go for your house. So depending on that information, maybe we'll wait till some of those go into contract because I'll know that, gosh, there were four buyers for all those houses that lost out. I heard they all had five offers. So four lost out. Well, all those buyers are gonna come back into your house and we'll just keep pushing that demand up and we'll use, I'll find out what those houses closed for and I'll tell buyers, agents that, hey, I already know what that one sold for. You gotta beat that. So there you go. That's another way to drive the price up, knowing what's going on in the market to push the buyers up. If you read a lot of stats about, you know, the national averages, when's the best time to sell a house? Yes, a lot of times they say spring is the best Sometimes it, one report will say the first week in April, best time to get the highest sale price. Uh, some people say May, some people say June, all those things. Honestly, because of COVID, a lot of those kind of traditional times of the year have gone out the window. I will say spring is usually when you have the most buyers come out of the woodworks and you can get more uh, multiple offers. So let's say instead of getting three buyers, maybe in the spring you might get six or more. Uh, so I do get that and the more demand, the higher sale price can go. But I'm telling you in this area for the majority of my 16 years doing this, if you've done the work and the house looks all updated and fresh and clean, no matter what time of year, if it's a downturn in a market, you will still get the most you can for that house at that time of the year. So right now, if you had a choice, I would say you can list it and you're gonna get a really high price no matter what because there's so much demand right now. Just make sure you do the work to make sure the house is updated. That's the best time to sell. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask below or reach out to me through my website. Uh, if you wanna know what the value of your house is right now, I have a link below, lots of resources down there. If you're thinking about moving, I have some other cities relocation guides. So until next time, have a great one.